Hey guys, Tayton, welcome back to this episode of Extreme Kitchen. Today, as you can tell, I'm cooking in a tent and we're going camping. Technically, we're at my house, as you can see. Uh, my house is right there. So it's camping ish, but we're making some bougie baked beans. They're gonna be delicious. Extreme Kitchens takes ordinary locations and turns them into extraordinary kitchens. Whether in my car, in the middle of a supermarket, or in the halls of my school, every location is turned into a kitchen like never seen before. Because if I can make it here, here, or here, then you can make it at home no matter how unconventional your kitchen is. All right, so the first ingredient in our bougie baked beans is two hot Italian sausages. So we're just gonna take these Italian sausages, cut them up, and the reason I like to use them is they add a nice little bit of spice to, oh my God, one of the sausages just fell. We're not gonna tell anyone. They add a little bit of spice to the super sweet and delicious uh, baked beans. So let's just cut them up. All right, now that I finished cutting these, I'm going to set them aside and let's turn on our little stovetop. So right over here, I have a little uh, gas-powered uh, stovetop over here that we always bring whenever we go camping or we need a portable stove. All right, I have a little pot warming up and let me just add in a little touch of vegetable oil. That should be getting nice and hot. And now to that, I'm going to add in that sausage we just cut up. The sausage is a really cool trick to add lots of flavor into it. All right, now these are in here. I'm gonna fry them up for about four to five minutes until they are nice and golden brown on the edges. Look at how insanely beautiful and delicious that looks. All right, now I'm gonna put this over here. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. Right over here, I have a large can of baked beans. Obviously, as always, um, the actual amounts are in the description. All right, we added those baked beans into there. And now we're gonna add the little things that make it bougie. We're gonna add in some plain old ketchup. A little bit of mustard. Some brown sugar. And the little secret green I add is a touch of maple syrup. I feel like in the winter, it gives it those kind of like wintry vibes. Uh, the combination of the brown sugar and the maple syrup, I think just takes it super delicious. And also let's just add in some freshly cracked pepper and as always, a touch of salt. Let's get that back on the fire and we're gonna bring this to a boil. All right, as you can see, it is now gotten nice and bubbly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lower the flame a bit. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until it gets nice and thick, all the flavors married together. And you know, I guess I have a tent, so I think I'm just gonna take a nap meanwhile. All right, it has now been 10 minutes. I woke up from my nap. I've been uh, just stirring this pot over here. Let me turn off the flame. And now it is now time to eat. That is literally how easy it is. Um, it is actually perfect for camping. Have a little bowl over here. Let's just spoon in some of this. It is so delicious. Here, bring closer. It is so delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. Uh, it is so easy and it is a full meal. You have the beans, you have the protein from the sausage. It is literally a meal in a bowl. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. It is truly incredible that with just a few ingredients, you can transform your classic canned baked beans into a literal hearty stick to the bone stew that is perfect for the winter, whether you're camping, whether you're inside your house. It is just so delicious. I literally can probably eat this whole thing that I just made. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of Extreme Kitchens just as much as I had making it. I'm still just freaking out over how delicious this is. If you guys want the recipe, as always, the link to it is in the description box below. And if you haven't already, while you're down there, Click that big red subscribe button to so be the first to know when I post new videos and click that like button if you're watching. All right, I'm gonna go devour the rest of this and then I might take another nap because we're camping.